Right, good morning. I'm going to show you, because we've had quite a lot of interest in how we set music for these mechanical organs. And I'm going to show you how I make a pattern. As you can see on the desk in front of you, the camera, we've got the score, we've got a scale card, tri-square and all sorts of other things. But the first thing we've got to work out is the score. Because what you have to remember is that a lot of these mechanical organs do not have a fully chromatic scale. In the case of the 89 violin baritone, which most of the Wells music that you've already heard on YouTube is played on, only has eight bass notes. For instance, and I will show you this later on. So we've got to take that into consideration. And we've also got to take in the span of the chromatic notes. Right, now, the score in question is the Farandol from La Isienne. As you can see, it's fairly major to start off with, in as much as we've got lots and lots of notes. But the first 16 bars are in four time, and then it goes into two time. Now the key is one flat, uh, which is B flat, which in organ terms goes to A sharp. And thank God we've got an A sharp, or we've got A sharps on the scale. The only A sharp we have in the bass is in the bass there. So we are doing all right straight away. Now the first part of this is very martial and so we have to work out the size of bars because the keyframe is normally of a fixed speed say 12 foot a minute is the average but quite a lot of these organs are now rebuilt with adjustable keyframes. So I've worked this out that the 4-4 four, four bars should be 12 bars, 12 beat or 12 centimetres. So we've got 12 centimetres per bar. And then it goes on to the Allegra Asai at the bottom. As you can see, here we are at the bottom there. And it goes from 4-4 four, four to 2-4. And basically it goes like the clappers. Allegra Asai a deciso. So we've got to be very decided. So I'm going to do that in a five centimetre bar. So it's going to go. If you notice, I put some red numbers. Now these will correspond to the bars on the card. Right, so how do we do that? Well, as you can see, the uh, stencil card, which is one single ply cardboard a very strong card and this is uh, joined up with uh, masking tape into a long stream literally a, a long stream of about 15 meters long and now what I what you normally what we do now is with the aid of the set square we then set out our bar lengths. That I will show you later on in a minute or two. But so far, just bear with me at the moment. I'd just like to talk a little bit about the scale because that is the most important bit of the lot. This is the translator from your music dots to your organ scale. Now, this is the 89 violin baritone scale. Sorry, it's a very messy old thing because this has had a hell of a lot of use. But as you can see, right, what we've got. All right, we start at the top. There are two registers at the top, followed by the ordinary fundamental bass 
F G A A sharp uh, B C D E. Then we've got the baritone register, which adds a lot of lovely reeds to the organ. And then we've got a rather sort of ineffectual but pithy accompaniment section, which, um, I don't know, <laughs> it does work, but uh, it can be, I think it's, it, it's a bit useless, but um, it does actually work, which is G, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, E. I actually always carry it right over through to the F sharp and the F, although those are marked on the melody. It makes it better for an accompaniment. It, 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 I, I find actually these departments don't really uh, work so well. Certainly not on the um, 89. You've got to be a lot more careful when you're using the 87 scale because there are no registers. You've got registers here to cover up any sort of crossover from say accompaniment to melody, melody to piccolo, etc, etc. You then fully chromatic right through the melody and onto the piccolo section and fully chromatic except the top D sharp. Then we go on to our old friend the bass drum and then we now have the trombones. Now most organs later on used just a register to bring on the trombones and therefore you could then get sort of 12 bass and everything else like that but in the early gavioli this is literally copied straight off a barrel scale and of course you didn't you know and so gavioli thought well why you know make more work while we've got a fairly good system and we've got these cards that'll do it for us so that's really just a matter of convenience but also but actually what it does do it, it does scupper the flexibility of the instrument but anyway that's where it is top f a side drum and a saxophone register and then you've got this all important counter melody register now this i find has been very useful because it also supplements the accompaniment register and the bass register and that's why i could get away with things doing the bach and the handle um things like the uh to carter and fugue because you've got reeds on this section and you can get away with blue murder which we do so that really is the 89 scale it's a very inflexible scale but i find it challenging and i find it great fun to arrange and this is what you use to uh, score out your music as you can see I've started the uh, timeline right I've set the first beat on the 12 centimeter mark and I've got myself seven bars of 12 centimeters now I'm going to put the uh, that's the semi briefs I'm going to put the minims and the crotchets in right minims are also black so we put them in here they go, every six centimetres. Right, and now we'll put the crotchets in. Donated by Red. Denoted by Red. Sorry, not donated. Denoted by the Red. That's now every three centimetres. As you can see, and we can go on to quavers as well. I'm quite lucky in as much as that on the cutting machine, which you will see later on, 
I've got a number of really good cutting tools. I'm going to go down to four millimeters. But actually, on on these gavioli scale instruments, on these keyed instruments, you only go as far as five millimeters. That's about as far as you can go. Right. Quavers are 1.5 or 15 mil. Here we go. And so what I'm doing, I'm just doing this in, which is quite. Again, why I do this, or this method, uh, which is the Brian Oram method, is it's slow. I gr I grant you, it's slow, but. It's a nice positive way of doing it and also I find it very useful to get my brain into order when I'm setting music because uh, you start thinking about how you're going to arrange it and when you're looking at this you can begin to, to fathom out how it's all going to go together because I start humming myself to myself what I'm going to put down there. It's a long sort of peculiar process but it, it does actually work and it works rather well. It works well for me and that's and that's what matters. You know each to each, to each and everyone his own. So really that really sort of concludes this part I'll show you how we start setting in a minute because I'm going to do the 16 and then I shall drop back and we'll start setting the music. You'll see how we use that. And anyway, suffice to say, oh yes, now the most important thing is to number the bars because then that will then match up with the score. So we're doing this three. Four, five, six, bar seven, and then ready to take bar eight. There. That's how we do it. Okay. People may say, yes, well, it's uh, not uh, very quick, but it serves the purpose, and that's all that I need. It's good fun, though. Cheers. On we go. We've done the ruling out of the timeline for what we need. So now it's time to actually set the music. So got my setting card, I've got the music here. As I said, we're in the key of D minor on this. And that'll transcribe straight onto the scale because uh, we've got the A sharp handy in the bass. Unfortunately, we don't have any D sharps, and there's a couple there, but I'll show you how we deal with that. But first of all, what I think we'll do is we'll get four bars set out on the bass first, and I'm going to, it's in, in octaves. So I think what we will do is we'll put that in the fundamental bass and the trombone, so that's going to be a good thing. And then we've got this in the octave. So we'll put this in the counter melody and before we go anywhere I think let's chuck some registers on because that's going to be very useful. That's going to give us what the organ will sound like. Uh, you've got the saxophone and violin on the counter melody. Uh, then you've got violins and baritones on the melody with the glockenspiel on with the piccolos but I don't think we'll get very far with that as yet but I think what we'll do is to give it a full-blooded sound 